then. All right then. I'm gonna concede this shit. Still got the money. So you can quickly screenshot my deck right now. This is page one. This is page two. Anti Rad will be playing now. It's you and me. It's pretty much my deck. Uh, it's Joyful Rogue versus Anti Rad. Vomos versus Lahapa. Cal Real versus Gigi Norio. Yeah, yeah, it's a new season of the ladder, so everyone is reset to their previous standings. 2 to 30. Anti Rad, best of five. Still best of five, I would say. There's gonna be only five rounds. Five best of fives. We can handle. We can handle. A lot of them will be three O's. It's gonna be okay. Alright, Atirad, best of luck. Please mute the stream, even though I've got a delay, and... Versus Vitruvian. And let the better rogue win. Round one. Um, um, um. Drop everything except the minion that's gonna be useful. He's playing Vitruvian, oh god. Vitruvian is supposed to be the most overpowered one of all. I get to steal his mana and still drop my adept. A pretty decent opening. Six legendaries in 20 packs. It's a slightly above average, I would say, but nothing to go crazy about, I would say. Kills my Komodo and... I might have actually made a mistake by not playing my, my Adept on the side to grab the mana next turn more easily. And he gets the minion that can't be targeted by spells, and he puts him far away. Yeah, if I position differently, I'd actually be able to grab the Maiden right now. The Maiden! But I didn't. And so instead, I have to resort to suckage of the night. And then, do I want to set up like this? He's got a spell. He's probably not gonna use it, but he has a spell that spawns a 2-2 minion in front of every opponent. So if I position in a box, I limit the amount of spaces that can be summoned to like that. Abyssian is the most gimmicky, yes. Magmar is extremely hard to, to, to play against, played well, yeah. And uh, the last official tournament was actually won by a Magmar player with a golem deck. Saracen. Kalriel and Gigino Rio will both be playing Magmar, and I really struggled against, against Kalriel's deck last time I streamed. What is that? That's a 2-5. Refresh the General's artifacts to full chargers. I guess that doesn't matter. But then he lowers my minion to zero damage, but I still get the plus two from Zeal. I would have zero damage outside of my Zeal bonus. In the March tournament, Oren, if I'm not, I will be. Sounds exciting. Let's do it. Probably want to get my Maiden. Yeah, want to get my Maiden. Who doesn't like a good Maiden? And I probably want to go for a direct trade, actually. Of course, can't with a hero, but... In here? I do want to. He's got plenty of removal. I want to make the best use of my minions before they... They're gone. And summoning in a box will limit the spaces he can do that Dervish spell to. 
I know nothing about Vanar and its playstyle. I wonder what will it be. Do you guys know anything about how will Vanar play? Lower another minion's attack to zero. Now this time, the Maiden is gonna suffer much more from that. No plus attack from Zeal, so unless I give her something like a Divine Bond to, bo to boost her attack, she's really not gonna do anything. And this guy's gonna start being really ridiculous now. Plus two, plus two, and Celerity. And he dispels my Knight as well. Fuck, yeah, like I said, he's got so much control, it's ridiculous. Just takes care of everything. And then buffs his minions cra like crazy as well. Oh man, this is not gonna be easy. This is not an easy first turn for me, holy shit. I need that Templar. I think I need a Templar and a Light Tracer. Though I could actually get a Templar and this spell to, to, to kill both minions. But I need the Light Tracer. Damn, but I need to kill both minions! If I don't kill both minions, man, they're gonna kill me. I'm very low on HP right now. I need to save that Light Tracer for next turn, I think. Yeah. Damn. Kill this thing with the Templar, and then kill this thing with two strike. Save the Light Tracer that'll heal me next turn, and not trade with my hero just yet. Man, this is- he's getting really close to killing me. This is not good. You can't attack and then move. You can only move and attack. Otherwise, kiting would be ridiculous. But I think he's got me in this first round. This, is this is gonna be tough. He's a good player. I'm used to playing craft players on the ladder, and now Antirat comes in. And it wasn't the best card draw for me either. I really need a Divine Bond for that Maiden to be useful, and, and it's just not coming for place 3. Yeah, I can't do it with what I've just drawn. I really just can't. Fuck. Fuck, but I can't. These cards here, they're just not doing it. Quite unlucky. Yep. I think it's just gonna kill me. Pretty damn sure he's just gonna kill me. After dispelling this guardian. But Antirad is a very good player. He is one of the best Scrolls players around in the community, winning tournaments periodically. He's, he's a beast when it comes to card games. So no shame to losing a, a match to him. But I want to do better in the series. I, I can do better in the series. I just need to draw a little bit better. Yep, that's GG. I believe that's lethal. Or one damage away from lethal, but still. He could find something like that. Oh, like... Oh no, this guy got 5 damage all of a sudden. Oh. GG. Oh. See, I told you the games will go quick. Best of 5 is a good idea. Oh man. Not a good start. At all. That's slightly better. 
How come you can summon anywhere? Airdrop can be summoned anywhere, yes. He grabs an obelisk for himself. It's gonna summon a dervish every single turn. And I have nothing to deal with it on the first turn. So I suppose he's gonna get at least one free unit. Replace one. That's not very good. Now I could either play my elemental for a big minion, or I could play the light chaser. But if I play the light chaser, see, he's just gonna get a dervish, and that dervish is just gonna kill the light chaser. And then I'll be able to also play this spell to, to deal 3 damage to this thing. Nah. I'll get the elemental. I'll get the big one. Light Trace is kind of wasteful anyway when I haven't taken any damage yet. It's a healing minion. But uh, not being able to counteract his obelisk. It's a very good opening for him again. Again, it's a better, better, better draw for him. Good. Dizzy to zero. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the community. And serendipity, I'm not gonna argue there. It's a pretty solid, pretty solid art. Oh my god, he's got this gigantic stuff already. Five damage right there. Not easy to deal with. And and I can't kill his obelisk again. Replace four. Damn, well played. The best I can think of... ...is grabbing some health back with this, and getting my own artifact, Regalia, and then just trading away. But I think I need to use the potion fast, even if it's inefficient. Because I gotta draw more cards, I gotta draw cards that can deal with this obelisk, or it's gonna kill me with free units. I think the invite code is the code you will receive from me when you win the giveaway. And then you can register an account and just start playing immediately. Interesting, he's running away from me. He doesn't want to trade with my artifact, apparently, until he builds up a base of minions and then hits me with three hits in one in one round. It's probably very smart. No kidding. Oh, damn, that's one big minion. That is one big son of a minion. And I probably want to drop my lion. Kill the scarab though. I think I'm gonna ignore the obelisk. Kill the scarab with with the lion. Replace one. Unless I draw something better. Nope. Come. 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 So I'm gonna attack the scarab once. Come. Kill him with my hero, unfortunately. I have to. And then... Do I want to kill his stuff? I want to kill his stuff. Lose the lion, unfortunately. I could have hit this thing and not lost my lion, but... But I'm scared of his artifact. He has a unit that refreshes his artifact. And if you use that, that'd be pretty badass. The True Strike might be very needed for me next turn. I usually don't replace my True Strikes. 
A removal stuck. Oh god, another stop. He's doing good here. He's doing really good. He's gonna destroy. Yeah, he destroyed my armor. Yep, but he's got some pretty low HP himself. He's gotta be careful here. Hmm. And he plays that on his own minion just to cycle through his deck faster. See, with with both of these true strikes, I can actually kill this thing right now with the Arclight Sentinel as well. Replace one. So it wasn't the most powerful turn for me, I have to admit. If I drew the right things, I would have had lethal already. It was a pretty crappy turn. But with the cards I had, I kind of worked out, I suppose. Man, I, I can totally just die to his stuff. I'm taking a risk trading like that. But seriously, I could die at any point now. I, or I could win at any point now. It's very tense. This, this, this one round here could decide it all. He could have lethal. I could have lethal as well next turn. Suppose we will find out. So far, that doesn't help him towards lethal. I can kill him. This, unless he removes my sentinel. Because this will give the sentinel 5 damage, and then I will have 2 with my hero. If he walls off with two of these, yeah, that's gonna work out. That that means I'm not gonna kill him just yet. Unless I draw something else. I think we can all agree that the crystal isn't gonna be useful here. This helps because it destroys his staff. It also destroys my sentinel, but I suppose I'll just have to take it. Damn it, but that means no lethal just yet. That means no lethal just yet. Wait, so I could play this, and still have five. So I could drop the Maiden, theoretically, instead of the Light Tracer, but the Light Tracer gives me health. But he's not gonna have his stuff, so he's not gonna have enough damage. There's no way he's gonna have enough damage. Unless he has another stuff. Well, point is, I got a crappy hand of cards, and I totally could have had lethal if I drew a little better. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the light tracer, I think. Light tracer or the maiden? Light tracer will heal me. Yeah, all I need is a little bit of healing. All I need is a little bit of healing. All I need is to survive one more turn. He can't keep doing this with 5 HP, he can't keep doing this. I will surely draw something, I see. Divine Bond Templar, that's uh, 6 damage with Rush. All I needed was to draw the right things. All I need to survive until I draw the right things. Indie Gamer! Thanks for dropping by, see you later. Have a good sleep. I think I got him. Unless he pulls something major from his ass and kills me right now, I think I got him. Even with the staff, he has to first kill my minions to even get close to me. So he would have he would have trouble killing me right now. I think I think this one could go to me, but damn, this is a tense series right here. Not a very easy first series at all. You don't need to download this the game Plus to Happiness. It's it's a it only works on Chrome. It's a browser game for now. They don't yet have a client. Yep, not gonna save you, buddy. Not gonna save you. I finally drew something that gives me the hole. He's been trading with his stuff pretty boldly in the early game, and then I healed up, and I pulled through it. Wow, 
one one in a best of five. This one's tense. Lyna versus Vitruvian. Antirad's definitely a strong candidate for winning the entire tournament. Alright, I'm gonna keep minions around. I, I want a I want a big opening on the board. Man, but this is just so not useful. Holy shit, I might not actually play anything next turn. Wow, that doesn't help. Honestly, plus to happiness? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you end. Do, do you have a code? If you received an invite code, it will come with an instruction. So if you don't know where, perhaps you don't have the actual game code. Maybe in the invite code you received is something else entirely. If they don't tell you to redeem it in a, on a specific website, in the email you received, then it's probably not the right thing for you to have. Oh man, he's just gonna be buffing this freaking dervish here. And I can't get 5 mana. If I could get 5 mana right now, I'd get this sun... This, this Guardian, but I can get four mana only. Replace two. Please be nice to me, game. It's a Templar. I suppose it's nice enough. It'll have to do. I'm not sure if I want to... this one just yet though. Man, I wish I had a true strike right now. I should have kept one. Alright, fine. Maybe grabbing this mana was a mistake. Maybe just should have kept it. Fine, I'll punch him. Oh, I can actually kill my Templar. With the potion. Because my hero's not wounded anyway right now. I might as well use what I have. I forgot to use my Komodo against this bastard. Damn it. Man, that is one hell of a series. I'm not sure if my opening is very good, considering that I'm not actually gonna play anything next turn. Other than a crystal only, shit. Not good draws, not good draws right now. Suppose now I could I could drop the elemental. Yeah, the elemental. Elemental it is then. Lower minions attack to zero. Still, the Templar dispels when he attacks, not when he deals damage. So, even with zero attack, he would still be a threat. So they need to, yeah, still trade against him, still bother with him. And then if he doesn't bo buff the sound hauler, howler, I will just kill it with my hero. Place three. If I draw something with two mana, yeah, I might want to actually drop Light Tracer Crystal right now. I mean, Wisp. Um. Um. I might also want to keep the Komodo around instead of trading it away for, for no reason. Because he 
could play a, a scary artifact on me. And then if I have plenty of minions stockpiled to counteract his artifact, heal him three times immediately, it's gonna be quite nice. On the other hand, though, if he's got this spell that summons a 2 2 dervish in front of every unit, then I'm fucked. Zero attack means that you can't attack. I can't even queue up an attack. Oh, shit. But I guess I would have still been able to buff him. Buff him back, so he still needed to kill it. Wait, what happened, Kalreel? Oh, Jijin the Rio was pretty hard. Oh, already? It's a best of five, you know. I, 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 it, it's wrong information that it's best of three. No, it's a best of five, actually. 3-0 already? Sorry for the confusion of the best of three. I decided best of five will be a way better deal. In this matchup, right now, it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, God, how did he deal so much damage to me when I wasn't watching? Jesus Christ, I'm at 9 HP! I mean, I'm just gonna die now! How do you do it? You must have had some kind of damage buff. Shit, Bolt, man. I gotta wall off or something. Can't let him touch me. No more. Wow! Yeah, that was... That was some damage, man. But then, he did sacrifice his entire board presence for that. Uh, yes, yes, I did give you back my, your draw coins. Because I don't have the game. I realized there was an error in my listings and I actually don't have Mirror's Edge. He's got the stuff. But as long as I provoke him enough, he may not be able to attack me. Besides... Replace four. I did save up plenty of 1-1 one, one minions to break the stuff no problem. He did take a big risk in going for my face with everything, sacrificing board control completely. Um. Um. No! What have I done? I wasted two attack. Oh god, no. Wrong position. Wrong positioning. Should I should have moved my hero first. Oh man, that was that was fail. Hope it doesn't decide anything. Oh, Cal Real! So you're the one who won 3 0. <laughs> good job, good job. Science Third Wish, all three minions will die now. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful, powerful spell. No shit. But it's okay, I can summon more. That was a pretty powerful spell though, I have to admit. Click. Replace four. Let's see if you can do it again. Oh, nice. Next turn I have lethal. The lion-divine bond combo. So if I just survive this turn, which is likely considering I've got a provoke minion and 9 HP. Though I should have positioned my hero over here so he cannot reach me directly without completely killing this minion. 
Stivis, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the community. Destroy the enemy minion next to your general, so okay. That I had no way of avoiding. And then... Do you have what it takes? Three attack for the general, and no, you're not gonna have what it takes. No, he surely doesn't have what it takes. Nope, he doesn't have what it takes. GG. See, I had a lion too. See, I had a potion too. Oh my god, two for Joyful Rogue, one for Antirad. And the series continues. Ooh. <laughs> Me and Womas have both dispelled the wrong tile by this part. <laughs> oh, lava. That is crazy. Oh man, I'm so scared of Antirad. One more game. I just need to win one more game. Lion versus Lionar. What? He switched to a Lion Eye deck. Ooh. Oh snap! I think I want to keep this. Oh my god, he switched to the Lion Eye. What am I pl even playing against now? I have no idea. But this could be... Oh. This could be so scary. Oh. I think I just won my elemental. But... Replace four. No, I don't want my elemental. Alright. It is decided then to add it. Hope he doesn't have the sun bloom. Um. Hey there, Twix. Welcome to the Duelist Tournament. I'm making a best of five against Antirad. 2-1 for me, but now he switched his deck to Lion Eye and anything can happen. Oh yeah, and totally turn down your settings to reduce all the unnecessary graphical improvements. Vitruvian versus Abyssian sounds like a pretty laggy matchup, matchup as well. Mm, lots of minions for him. I think he's playing the massive buffing strategy. I need to wipe his board. Or his board is gonna get unbearably gigantic. Also... I'd love to play this Templar right now. Replace one. Or the Arclight of Galia. Yeah, this is too weak. I, I, I think I need the Templar against his Knight. Though, his Knight will still be dangerous, even if I play a Templar against him. Still. Still. Gotta do what I gotta do. Unless I want to ignore his Adept. Kill the Knight right now. But then his Knight cannot just kill my Templar. His Adept, though, can. Yeah, I... I'm sure I want to do this. See, Antirad got to legendary ladder tier, the, the zero ladder tier, with, with Lion Eye. He's at least as good of a Lion Eye player as I am, if not better. Uh, it's, it's not for my tournament, Dranrab. I don't have rules. People can just do whatever the fuck they want, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. I didn't really expect them to to use more factions too often, to be honest. Alright, this trade totally works out for me. I, I like it. I'm not gonna complain. For now, I'm feeling good. Replace two. Come. 
I can get my regalia. Come. Come. Kill that Shittleson and drop myself a healing minion. Though it puts him in the initiative on the board. But I do have a nice regalia. I totally recommend you to keep your materials until you know what to do with them. Oh, he drops a nasty one. Shit, I'm not sure how to, what to do against him right now. But it's probably not gonna be a Komodo. Man, I can't do anything against him, really. Just drop a second Regalia, I suppose. So I can negate even more damage. Um. And drop a crystal. Um. It can't do much. Hope it's enough. I didn't draw my own guardians. It might be a little hard for him to deal with a double regalia. We'll see. He needs to summon many minions to counter my regalia. So I think I'm gonna keep my Tempest in my hand, never actually replace it, because I that that is countering the counter to my regalia play. Because first attack against me each turn needs to deal more than four damage, so it's not gonna work. So he needs to do many attacks to kill my regalia. Suppose a lion could kill it right here. Actually, no, not right here, but a lion would help. Or a double Komodo. Mm. Or he's just gonna swamp me with a lot of provoke minions. Suppose that works as well. Ah, a war surge to boost, to, to boost them, but... Is it enough, though? Is it enough? Nah, he's just buying time. At this point, he is just buying time. Play stream. Nice. That's very useful actually. Because I can remove this bastard. Oh. Oh. And then I can remove this bastard. Oh. 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 And then I can play it like this. Even though I didn't even need the healing. That Regalia could win this series for me right here, holy shit. I'm not sure he can deal with it anymore. I think I got it. Oh my god, I, I think I got it! <gasps> Andrad! I also wasted a lot on crappy crafting when I didn't even know anything about the game. I was like, oh, this potion looks cool. This sun bloom looks cool, and then I crafted some cards I'm never using anymore, it's kind of a waste. So yeah, definitely wait until you learn the game, and, and then use your crafting materials. Yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. I I'm not gonna lie, it's looking solid for me. And then in the second round, it would be Joyful Rogue Lahova! Man, I'm playing all the favorites, what the hell? Antirad Giginorio and Womos Calreal. You guys can go ahead and play the second round if you want. I totally don't mind. If your opponent is free, you can go ahead. Yeah, I spent everything, every bit of spirit I had crafting that second Regalia. I don't have a third one, but I really wanted it because it's it's one of those really broken Lionar things. Might be the most broken Lionar card, to be honest. Interesting how he drops this guy, like, far away from me, as if he was planning to buff him before he wants him to, to be used at all. Interesting. Replace four. Let's see if I get lethal. Nope. But I do get a good situation. 
Oh no, he's gonna get... Oh shit. Okay, no, I, I need this provoke over here. No shit. I suppose now I'm still in a good situation. Because I can... I can still use my lion. But I need to bring this guy down, or he would use the divine bond on him. Yeah. Oh, and my Maiden actually won't get healed now, but I think it was very important because his last final play of power would have been Divine Bond, I think. And now that he doesn't have the HP to use it, I'm not sure how much else he can do. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I invested too much into killing that Minion. I should have just gone for the face, but... I'm scared of Minions with 10 HP when I'm playing Lion Eye, and it's probably not, a, not an unfounded fear. Probably a very smart fear. Oh, you are, Lahopa? I'll keep it in mind. We're on game 3 at 1-1. One, one. I see. Alright. You're really good at scrolls, so I kinda thought you were... <laughs> so I guess it's Antirad and Cal Real then. The, the the biggest threats in this in this tournament. Oh my god! I, he's got Sinjas in his deck. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, he's not out of it just yet. Oh, he's not out, not even by a long shot. Oh, this is not good. Ah, oh, shit, it's not good. Replace one. Not what I needed. Damn it, okay. I guess one point off my regalias, but I'm still in an okay shape for now. Well played, well played. I forgot about the Sinja completely. He can't do it. Come on. Oh, a lion. Oh my god, lion divine bond and he wins the game. Oh my god, so this comeback. Oh, this comeback right now. Oh no, he doesn't because I deal six damage to him. So the lion can attack on me once. But he destroys my regalia right now, doesn't he? If he attacks with his... Oh, but he dies. Nope, he's got an elixir. Oh, such a good attempt. Will he do it? He could totally do it right now. My regalia are gone. No, I, I still have lethal. Man, man, good attempt. Good attempt. Whoa, yeah. Legit, legit. Divine Bond adds attack to a minion equal to the number of HP that minion has. Damn, that was well played. So my next opponent would have been Lahopa, and they're still playing their series. Now, it is dinner time for me, so it's a perfect timing for me to just go eat, and when I come back, the tournament continues! In the meantime, if you